Plovdiv is one of the oldest cities in the whole of Europe. It's also the epicenter in Bulgaria for travel, expats and digital nomads. So if you come to this city to live here in the region, or you're a student, you just come in for some time, and you want to know how to learn another language, specifically Bulgarian, or maybe you're a Bulgarian and you want to learn English better, then I've got the best place for you. This language school is the best in the whole of Plovdiv, possibly even the whole of Bulgaria. Why, you might ask? Well, you're gonna see in this episode how passionate the teachers are, how they use a different style that's not adopted by all language schools, and they go that extra mile just for you. So if you're thinking about learning another language, you might consider this place. And what a great name, it's called home. So why not come home to learn another language? If you're a foreigner, you come in here to Plovdiv and you wanna know about how to learn Bulgarian prices and what it's like, then we've got the exact episode for you. Today, Norman is bringing us to one of his friend's places and this is one of the best language schools in Plovdiv. Yes, it is. Possibly even Bulgaria, yeah? Can also be. Yeah? I okay. think so, yes. Because so. their, their concept is very different than the other schools. They don't have so much uh, students. They don't have... Uh, it's not very expensive. It's, uh, that's why it's called home, because you feel like home. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's go in. Let's go speak to uh, the owner of this place. Yes. Karen, pleasure to meet you. Juliana, nice to meet you. Yeah, so we are here at the language school. The name of your school is Home, correct? Exactly, it's Home. Yes. And why, why did you call it Home? Because it feels like Home. I thought that might be and the all the people here actually feel like Home, and that's our purpose. Yeah, like that's you why join we join them into your family. You know, exactly, exactly. Nice. That's exactly. a great idea, I love mm. that. And exactly what you were doing here? You mm -hmm. were teaching foreign people or Bulgarians different languages? Or? Yeah, we're teaching both. We're teaching mostly Bulgarian. Uh, we're teaching Spanish, Italian, Russian, German, English, of course. Also, like Greek, Turkish, but also we are teaching foreigners Bulgarian. Uh -huh. And actually, we have more and more foreigners studying Bulgarian with us since our courses are very practical yeah. and it's actually what the people need. On a taste of Bulgaria, these are exactly the kind of places I like to promote simply because these smaller businesses, they go that extra mile to give you the service that you deserve. And I think the prices are reasonable as you're gonna find out. So if you wanna help me with my mission to promote the kind of places like this and Bulgaria to other around the world, then you should help me by hitting that thumbs up and make a comment down below. Maybe you wanna learn another language. Let me know what language you wanna learn. And don't forget other ways that you can do it is by sharing this video directly from YouTube. So let's get back to the rest of this interview. Because here in Plovdiv, I think you have a lot of foreign people coming here to study. Exactly, and, and to live, and, and to live. they need Bulgarian, yeah. Norman, he told me about this place. He brought me here, and he said it's, he thinks it's the one of the best in Plovdiv, if not the whole of Bulgaria. Well, so, I think so too. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that I work here, but I, I'm sure that it's one of the best because actually 95% of the people that come here are recommended by our students who have studied here and actually already speak the language. So this is, this is the most that we can ask for. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> That's Word what we're doing. Word the best, show the product that you're doing by literally performing exactly. that language. Exactly. 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 Especially the foreigners. All the foreigners that come here have come here because another person, foreigner, has already studied Bulgarian with us. So, I mean, do you have a mission statement? Do you have a, a way that you teach? I yes. Mean, For example, in a normal school or a normal language center, usually what you do is you open your textbook on page 38, let's say, and you do all the exercises there. We don't do that here. Right. For if you take present simple tense in English, you don't do a test or something. What we do is you actually speak it with games, with dialogues, with all different kinds of ways to, to actually... Involve like, yourself within exactly, the... Yeah. Exactly, exactly. And to the, actually speak it. That's the only way afterwards when you, when you need it, when you need to say something, 
to go out of your mouth. I mean, this was this is good what you, what you're saying. I think this is perfect way to teach somebody speaking and the using of the language. I mean, before I lived in Spain and I started to learn Spanish. Now mm -hmm. I knew a lot of words. I knew two, three, two and a half thousand words, but they just wouldn't come out of my mouth. Exactly, when you needed them, exactly. you already forget them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, now when I'm in in Bulgaria, I took a job in the summertime, and I mixed with people that didn't speak English. Exactly. And I got over that hill mm -hmm. of speaking. Exactly. I didn't care if I didn't sound correct. It's just getting over that hill and like you, you said, untied your tongue. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And then if you like you guys are making it like a family. So exactly. It doesn't matter when you make mistakes. Exactly. So think, yeah. And what we do is we don't only offer lessons but we we regularly now with the covid times it's a little, a little bit difficult but Every month we have Spanish evening, English night, movie night, quiz night, food tasting night and at that night we only speak the language huh? with all our students. They are completely free for our students so they don't pay for them and they actually practice their language. That's great. Yeah, yeah. that's doing, something we love to do. You're that's, doing this regularly? Is it like once a month thing or is it just spontaneous? Yes, well, before COVID we did it more than regularly. Uh -huh. Now. We do it whenever it's possible because we have to do it outside. Uh, it's more difficult because we are gathering more people to that. It's not only five or ten people. Yeah. So, yeah, but we will start eventually, I hope soon, do it again regularly, yes. Because that is what our, the students actually need. Yes, yes. So it's a very relaxed atmosphere. Yeah. atmosphere and are you schedule to certain things? What times can people come? Can they decide? whether they want to come every day for a lesson or is it like certain times? Of yeah, the week it or? depends. We have different options. You can choose to come with a group and then the lessons are scheduled. For example, Tuesday and Thursday from six o'clock every week. If you decide to come individually, you can choose your schedule, timing, the tempo, everything. Yeah. Yeah, and also when you come individually, actually you can learn the language exactly the way you need it. For example, you, you need medical English or you need business English, so you can do also this. Yeah, so however you want to learn, how you feel better you learn, you will tailor that to the, the person's needs. Exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I think it's very interesting for the people watching at home, the prices. This is what everybody wants to Of run. course. So if you'd like to give us a little rundown of kind of prices for certain things. Yes, of course. For example, if a foreigner wants to come and study Bulgarian, in order to study the first level of Bulgarian, usually the course is about two and a half months and it's around 600 euro if he comes individually. The good thing at individual learning is that actually you come, you study as much as you can. Yeah. For example, this thing is easy for me, okay, I will not stay at that a long time. We'll go, go ahead to the next one that is difficult for you. Usually one course, it's not cut it at, one, at first level. It's, you can go on with second level and etc. This is also something good about the individual classes. If a foreigner decides to come to a group, it's around 300, 350 euros, something like that for the full course. And usually the group is not more than three or four people. So again, usually at the language centers, the groups are 10, 12, 13 people. That's not convenient for every person who's, who studies because you don't have any time to practice it. The, the teacher doesn't have time to spend on every student. Exactly. So you see all our cabinets are small. We have four, six, eight maximum. If Bulgarians to study or English or Spanish, all our courses are at the same price. For example, the group courses are around 250 euro for the full course and it's one level it doesn't matter first second or third yeah. and the individual course is around 500 500 something euro so i mean i think it's a very reasonable price it's definitely yeah. yeah actually it's somewhere in the middle of the market yes but the quality that we give is um, I think exceeds a lot uh, yeah. the price, especially with the individual courses. Because usually the people at one course, they take the material and they actually start speaking the way that they would in two courses yeah. with group. Uh -huh. So it's, it's the better choice. How can they contact you? You have a website? Yes. 
Okay. It's ezikovdom.com. So I'm going to link that in the video description so you can contact them directly. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, we'll, we would be more than glad because we, first of all, we love speaking to people who want to develop themselves. Yes. This is this is our purpose. That's the main part. And actually what I do is many times the person calls me and I actually tell him how to improve his English without giving even one left. Right. Because if someone doesn't have the money and wants to improve the language, there are many ways. And we know that we can help yeah. also. That's very in nice. That, in yeah. that way, of course. Okay, so it's been a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, uh, thank, thank you. you it was much. my pleasure also. <laughs> so I'd really like to know what your thoughts about this place is, really. And Diliana, she seems like a great teacher. Fun, bubbly. You could have some really great fun and learn a lot from her, I think. I would love to know what you think in the comments below about that. Would you choose this kind of school if you wanted to learn another language? Maybe you don't have a lot of money when you come here. If you don't, then I've got a great video for you where it's my great tips how to learn a language for free. You should pick this video here and that'll show you all them great tips that I've got. I'll see you over there.